morning everyone or no matter what the time is good morning po and welcome again to another topic in mathematics so right now we're going to review about the measures of central tendency we have here the mean median and the mode so bakit pa siya tinawag na central because as we collect the data we need to have a central point of view or kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng nakolekta nating data as one. Kaya siya tinawag na measures of central tendency. So as we go along, we will talk about the mean, the median, and the mode. So the first one is mean. Pag sinabi nating mean, the keyword here is the average. Now as we get the average of all scores, we need to add up all the gathered scores divided by the number of those scores and then the symbol here is a small letter x with a bar on top of it okay next we have here the median once we say median that is the middlemost score middlemost pinaka nasa gitna na ang symbol ay md on some of the junior high school books or in higher levels we have a capital letter x Pinaka nasa gitna, ha? Then the next one is the mode. Pag sinabi nating mode, this is the most frequently occurring score. O sa Tagalog ay pinaka maraming na uulit na number. So mamaya malalaman natin kung paano kumuha ng mode. Which is the symbol is MO. Okay, let's start with the types of mode. We have here the unimodal, bimodal, trimodal and the multimodal by its prefixes we have uni which means we only have one mode bimodal we have by two tri is three and then multi means four or more then the range here is it is the difference between the highest score and the lowest score so the key skill here is we need to arrange the scores always from lowest to highest score. So later on, we will do it. Once we say difference, we are talking about subtraction. So example number one, epi scores in five math quizzes are 80, 82, 79, 83, and 83. What is the mean, median, and modal score? So the first question here is, the mean, median, and the mode. But before we do that, we need first to arrange the scores from lowest to highest. Again, we need to arrange the scores from lowest to highest. Okay, so the correct arrangement here is 79, 80, 82, 83, and 83. So please take note of that. The next one here is, pwede na tayong mag-solve. Ano daw ang mean? So katulad ng winanggit ko kanina, average yun. Na ang symbol ay small letter X with a bar on top. Yung scores kanina, i-add up yun. Tapos, bakit may over 5? Kasi po, lima yung scores na yan. Okay, so once we add up the numerator, we will have 407 over 5. Divide it, we will have 81.4 as our mean. Okay, the next one here is the median. Determine the median. So, katina, ina-arrange ko na yan, yung mga scores from lowest to highest. Pag sinabing median, pinaka nasa gitna. So, which among these scores is the middlemost? Okay, thank you so much. So, the answer here is 82. Kasi siya yung pinaka nasa gitna. I want you to reflect, what if there is no middlemost score? Walang pinaka nasa gitna. So, let's have this data. I've added another score. So, with that, we need to get the average of the two middlemost scores. Yung dalawang nasa gitna, which are 81 and 82, i-add up mo lang, tapos i-divide mo by 2 para makuha mo yung median, which is 81 plus 82 is 163, divided by 2 kasi dalawa lang naman ang involved na score, that is 81.5. So that is the median for that kind of example. Okay? Next one, let's proceed to another item or another question, which is the mode. 
determine the mode. Again, that is the most frequently occurring score. Pinaka maraming na uulit. Yan ulit yung data natin on our first example. So alin saan ang pinaka maraming na uulit? Okay, maraming salamat po. So that is 83. So that is our mode. Now the question here is, what type of mode is that? Ilan ba ang mode natin? We have only one, which is 83. Meaning, that is unimodal. Okay po, kasi yung iba ang naiisip, ah, dalawa kasi yung 83, kaya ba yung modal yan? It's not correct. Okay? Kaya mo napili yung mode na 83, kasi marami siya, siya yung pinakamaraming na ulit na dalawang beses. Okay? So, another one, what if nag-add up ako dito ng 79? Ano na magiging mode natin? Okay, so ang magiging mode na natin dito ay 79 and 83, which is now considered as bimodal. Okay, now what if nag-add up ulit ako ng 79? So ibig sabihin, ang magiging mode na lang natin dito ay C79, hindi na C83 at iyan ay magiging uni modal kasi si 79 na yung pinakamaraming na ulit. Okay? I hope uh, that is very clear with everyone. Now, let's have the same set of numbers but the question now here is the range. So, balikan natin yung range. Dapat naka-arrange yung scores ulit from lowest to highest and identify the lowest score which is 79 and the highest score is 83. Okay, then subtract mo lang daw. Get its difference. So the answer here is 4. Very good. And that is the range. Okay, next one. Let's have these scores or these grades coming from the freshman students. We have here uh, the grades of Rose, Grace, James, John, and Jem in English, Math, and Science. Let's analyze this data using these questions. Determine the mean score of grades. So, ibig sabihin, titingnan natin yung mga grades lamang ni Grace. Okay? Which are 92, 88, and 88. Tapos ang question ay mean. Ibig sabihin, we're going to get the average. So, kunin mo lang yan. 88 plus 88 plus 92 divided by 3 kasi tatlo lang ang scores. That will become 268 divided by 3 which is now 89.33. So that is now the mean for grace for the three subjects. Okay, next one. Determine the median in math. O median, big sabihin, pinaka nasa gitna. So, here, in mathematics, we need to arrange the scores from lowest to highest, which are 80, 88, 90, 90, and 95. Ano yung pinaka nasa gitna? So, the answer here is 90. Okay, next one. What is the mode in every subject area? In every, big sabihin sa bawat subject, si English, ano yung pinaka maraming na ulit? That is 85. How about in mathematics? We have 90. In science, we have 88. So, ganun lang po. Kasi mode lang naman in every subject. Okay? Then, I think this is the last question. Which among the subjects has the largest range of scores? Or range ulit tayo. It only means the highest score minus the lowest score. So, unahin muna natin ang English. So, sa English, ang highest score natin ay 92. Tapos, ang lowest score natin ay 85. Okay, subtract mo lang. Anong sagot? 7. Ganun din ang gagawin sa mathematics. The highest score is 95 minus 80. That is 15. And then, for science, we have here, uh, the highest score is 92 minus 83. The answer there is 9. So we can now answer the problem or the question, which among the subjects has the largest range of scores? That is obviously the mathematics.
Okay, so I hope that's clear. That is the mean, median, mode, and the range. With that, thank you so much and to God be all the glory.